Today, I really wanted to talk about friendship. Let me ask you, how many really good friends do you think you have? I mean, I'm sure you have a lot of friends, but like, how many really good friends do you think you have? You know, I've heard it said that, you know, to have a couple of friends in life is a really fortunate thing, but to have even just one good friend makes you so, so lucky. And I think it's true. Um, there's a quote that I really like that goes something like, don't walk in front of me, I may not follow. Don't walk behind me, for I may not lead. Walk beside me and be my friend. And I really like that concept that friendship should be based upon some sense of, of equity. Like we both have something to give and take in this relationship. And I definitely have a few friends that I have fostered really, really good connections with. And different people for different occasions. I mean, I have my my, my brother, like, you know, I, I love this dude, James, who I just talk about esoteric, beautiful things in life. You know, we talk about personal responsibility and pulling ourselves up, you know, trying to be better versions of ourselves, working through our problems, you know, really being better versions of ourselves and we help each other to do that by talking through it and being there to support each other. I have my friend Jacob who I feel like we have these really interesting conversations about the state of the world, uh, the philosophy of, of politics, you know, how things work and we have this deep understanding of the mechanisms of the world and we have these beautiful conversations about those, those things and I think that I learn and become a better person for those conversations. Um, on top of that, I mean, we just talk so regularly. He's like a rock for me, you know? He's just such a support network, and I hope I'm that for him. Um, you know, I have my friend Brandon, who's been one of my oldest friends, and I just love this guy, you know? I've been known him for well over a decade, and we talk, try to talk at least every week, every other week, uh, even though he lives out of state, and we talk about just our lives, trying to keep up with each other, you know, and we'll get into these interesting psychological conversations, you know, we'll talk about movies, we'll talk about, uh, you know, the you know, relationship dynamics, we'll talk about all sorts of things, and I think that we have just really good, deep connection. Um, I have my friend Bryce, who lives in Kentucky, and uh, I feel like we talk about each other's lives, um, but we do it through art. Like we use TV and movies to talk about deep ideas, you know, quoting things to get a point across, uh, you know, talking about these just, you know, interesting topics that I think help to connect us. And it's a reason why we've stay connected even being out of state. In fact, I would argue that some of my best friends, they all live out of state. It's kind of crazy how I can maintain these friendships, but for me, friendship is everything. I think that human connection is why we're alive, and I think that it's important to stay connected. I remember I had this beautiful moment where I was tripping on uh, magic mushrooms, and I remember my grandfather had just died, COVID-19 had just started, we were all locked down, and there was this episode at the end of the Midnight Gospel where they're talking about death. And you just never know when you're going to lose time with someone. You know, you don't know how much time you have on this earth with the people you care about. And so I made a point to start calling people every single day. I would call someone out of my phone book every single day. But that first day, while I was tripping, I called a bunch of people. No one answered. Granted, it was late. Uh, you know, those are the best friends, the friends who answer for you when it's late. And my one friend, Conrad, he's the one who answered. And I'm so glad Conrad did. And I'll end with this little anecdote. Uh, Conrad had just been hit by a car, like full speed while riding on his bike. Conrad could have easily died that day. But instead, oh, drop my cigarette. Uh, but instead, he managed to get away with scrapes and bruises. And I think that's a miracle that of all people who answer the phone, when I'm thinking about how long do I have with my friends, a, a friend who nearly died that day answered the phone. You don't know how long you have with these people. Cherish them. Open up to them. Have them open up to you. You know, don't let friendships be superficial. Don't let friendships get m masked by drama and bullshit. Be real with people. 
and be open with people and you'll find these deep, deep connections that will change your life and maintain your life and give your life reason for being. So that's just my two cents on friendship today. I just wanted to talk about my friends, uh, my, my view on friendship, and I just think it's the most important thing in the world. And I hope that you have people in your life that you consider to be close friends. And if you don't, that's okay. You'll find your people, but you have to stay open. You have to stay vulnerable and you have to just be yourself. Otherwise, you're not going to find the people who like you for you. And that's the only type of person that's worth finding. The, per the people that like you for you. So I hope you enjoyed that today. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day.